Joining us now, one of the few people who knew about Chandra's secret affair with then-Congressman Gary Gondit. This is Ben Jones is here for an exclusive interview. Good morning, Ben. Good morning to you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. I know that you were friends, would you say, with Chandra? Yeah. You yes. worked together at the Bureau of Prisons. You belonged yes. to the same gym. Mm -hmm. You say that she told you things she didn't tell others. Well, I was sort of a safe confidant. Um, I didn't know her friends. I didn't know her social um, network. I was somebody who was an older guy that had, you know, was from California, that we um, had done the graduate school experience. We shared a lot of the same California culture, if you could say mm -hmm. that. Uh, coming to New York particularly, it's a little different here. Um, so, and she was a very warm person. <clears throat> I had worked in inside prisons for many years and was not quite accustomed to using internet and those sorts of things. So, so she, you two connected instantly yes. and, and you are one of the first people that police focused on in this investigation as a person of interest. Why do you think that is? Um, be, for the very fact that I knew her and knew some of her, um, you know, her, her thoughts and what her interests were romantically. Uh, in fact, it was, I was somebody that she talked to quite often about her relationship and wanted advice. What did so, she say about her relationship with Gary Condit? Um, she was in love and uh, she saw a future. So, you know, she asked me what I thought and, um, you know, I shared, shared my thoughts with her. And <clears throat> for that reason, I think it's just natural that the police would, would be interested. Her family said this morning that they feel that Congressman, then Congressman Condit took advantage of her. Would you agree with that? I think that's a hard, you know, issues of the heart are so difficult to stand outside and say one way or the other what's going on. So I, I, I'm loath to make, you know, decisions on what was going on at the time. Police were interested in, we looked at both of you. Uh, Congressman Condit mm -hmm. and you when this investigation was underway. Did you ever try to reach out to him? Uh, yes, on several occasions. Um, what was the response? It, didn't, it just didn't go forward. There wasn't any real response. And again, I can't project forward You know what was going through his mind. Maybe he was, as I came to feel, um, being under the microscope. It, it was pretty frightening. So I can see where somebody would withdraw because of, naturally, the attention. Do you feel vindicated now that this impending arrest is, is looming? Yeah, I feel the, the catastrophic thing that happened to me is that my career changed, that my ability to get a job was fantastically affected. Nowadays, with, with the internet and so on, whenever you meet someone, whenever you apply for a job, when you, whenever you have any sort of social interaction, of course your name is Googled. You right. know, or Everybody knows as, everything. Everything. And naturally, my name, one of my jobs in the Bureau of Prisons was as a public affairs person. So putting that on your resume means that someone's going to naturally look you up. And the sorts of things that were coming out that implied some sort of nefarious, mm -hmm. you know, intent, uh, that was fantastically damaging. But now you'll get your life back together, you feel? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I think this is a good first step. All right. Thank you, Sven. Thank you.